Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Thirteen. Seven. Seven cigarettes. Hey. Speak that shit to me again. I dare you. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. It is. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now if you huh? excuse me, I have a meeting. What the fuck? I will get you fired. What the hell? Like, actually, I'm baffled. What the fuck? Like a child. No logical thinking whatsoever. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? Seen any scrolls? No. No, we don't need to do that. Trevor, I don't give a damn about Trevor. Oh, hello. Talk to me. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Uh, what do you mean? You didn't see me? You didn't know I was there? Uh, ooh. Oh, you have cameras. So you know. But you don't know. That I know. That you know. Because you didn't, you didn't know that I saw the cameras. Which you do have. So this is a very tricky situation. I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. Oh, I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about him? What about Kate? You stepped between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Oh yeah, uh, I guess Chloe could have just told me. Warren! Hey girl. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no kitty. See ya. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Yes. Where is the lab? This is the lab. I'm here. I'm very fast, I know. I am. You sent me one text and I was here two seconds later. That's how much I like you, Warren. Let's go. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Hmm. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Free what? Weird science. It's not potassium. It is sodium. Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so asking. Have that. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem. That's the worst pun I've ever heard. 
Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Huh? Let's, 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 let's. The thing it is. Can't be that hard. It we we are we have limited options. Bring me the brain, Igor. <laughs> I just I need to talk to this uh this woman. Tell me. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Damn. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Yeah, I have a I have an experiment. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. <laughs> Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Chlorine? Bye. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Chlorine. Hey Warren. Maxwell so That's the go. Have that wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not oh my god, Warren, you're so chlorine. Oh my god. I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Let's see. <gasps> Amazing. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. <laughs> why aren't you talking to Warren if you like him? Why, why are you just there on your phone? Talk to me, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Let's see. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Mm. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. My nature. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. Oh. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Uh, did I just... Did I hear that right? Did I hear, like, two... Uh, wild things at the same time? I'm not crazy, right? That's actually kind of wild. And uh, should be investigated by the police. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Sorry, Warren. I need to talk to Kate. I don't care. This is kind of creepy, but whatever. Okay. Can I just... Can I just... God damn! No. <laughs> She's gone. Hey, David. David. This guy is still standing there. Damn. Speak. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. 
my number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Mm. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Huh? Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. No one believes me. After I got my powers. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 Okay. You are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Why should I take a photo? It's against her will. She doesn't know. Is that Nathan? Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson. Like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I'm literally next to your ear. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not what? at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Eh. It is what it is. Oh my god, really? You wanna... Okay. Whatever, let's just sit down. Nope, I need to go to Kate's. I don't care. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Yeah, I don't really get it. Like, whoa. if she would be doing something wrong, maybe. But she's just walking, literally. Hey, Warren. What up, Max? You can hey, sit Warren. here. I they can't. Earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have later. a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh. Oh my God. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Chloe is not right in the head. Let's just say that. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. I guess Kate will miss class now. TV for some of that. I'm worried about her. We can only blame ourselves for participating. 
Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Bruh. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> who is this? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiroskiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The mm. shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. You have no power here. Dismissed. All right. There we go. Kate! No! Oh God! I, I have to do something to help her. Oh, not again! Not now! I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Are you sure? Can you stop time? Well, yes, you can. Remember the passages. Oh my god, can I save her? Don't remember the passages. There you go, David. Doing an amazing job. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. By the way, this is not high enough. I'm not giving you any ideas, but this is... No. to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I 
I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. Sounds so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh, God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied, too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. Uh, the father, I think. Uh, was it the father or the mother? Ah, it was the father, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, I guess the mother. Uh, father. I remember. I remember the letter, but I don't remember. Oh no, 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 no! Just give me a second. Uh, the father disappointed. No. I think it uh, must be the father, right? Eh? Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care. Yes. Even though I hurt him, he's the only one I know who believes in me. You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna Google this shit. I don't care. Okay, so one... Is about for forgiving, and the other one is about uh, justice. Which one do you think she'll respond to better? Let's try. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Yes. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Yes, I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. <sighs> Saved someone. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Hmm. Just me, yeah? Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Huh? As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. Right, 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 right. Today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. 
Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Sure. Well, I can't talk about Nathan right now. David did bully her. Jefferson did make her cry. But I think David... I think I'll go for David right now. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Okay, let's go back. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Uh, I, I don't think I can do better. If I go for Nathan, uh, I, I don't have any proof, so... It's just saying things. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. God damn we'll it. be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. Oh my so God. Thank you for coming in. Why are they doing that? I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. 
You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously. A human it's the sun. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Ugh, Warren. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Does this episode have subtitles? Ooh. Yes. Thanks for <laughs> the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper. Yeah. <sighs> this was a heavy episode. I'm a feed you. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, not on this. Yes. Okay, I I I gotta go. Thank you for watching this masterpiece. May you have a great and wonderful life. Farewell.